Hey, Jesse, check this out. And three, two, one, pop! <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Duck! if you can. Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. You're always looking to one up us, aren't you? Ooh, temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? Order of the Stone, let's get dangerous. Danger! Danger! After we all yelled danger, I got a little nervous, but this place is empty. There isn't even any treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought winter storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. Reminds me of that time when you got a cake from that witch's hut, and I was super jealous of you. It's just, I really love cake. Sorry, Axel. I found this cake, and I'm gonna keep it. Aw, oh, man. Huh. A pumpkin. Not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. I'll be honest with you, Olivia, I have no idea what this is, or what it does. Uh, I do. A burning stuff, right? 
I mean, but it must do something besides that, right? You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, Flint and Steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen Flint and Steel do that before. Uh-oh. like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Olivia, prep the redstone wrap. Nearly there. Okay, activate it. <laughs> Make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. here I tell you guys doing that never gets old Woo! yeah not too bad killing a bunch of monsters getting sweet treasure like that flint and steel thing you got to try it again I'd be curious to see it again too I'm dying to know how it works I'm good you can give it a shot though <laughs> Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Sorry, but who are you again? Oh, I get it. The Order of the Stone is so fancy that they don't even recognize us anymore. Even though we used to wipe the floors with you guys every building competition. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm... No. 
Lucas left us to risk his neck and save you guys, and this is how you talk about him? You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's no shame in being second-rate eight. Not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Some hero you are, Jesse. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Whatever it is, it's powerful, and I'm going to figure out what it does. I'm finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. Well, I guess we do always try and get all the best treasure. Yeah, but that just means we have great taste. Not that we're like bullies or something. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. Pretty sure that means it's time to party! Yeah, Jesse! You're my favorite order member! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fived me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Wasn't a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault. Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower, Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back. Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. So what's this weird structure? It's my new house. And also, uh, my gift to the community. If anyone's short on lava, this is the place to get more. <laughs> You're welcome! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Sorry, but Ivor's right. People have got to be free to build. 
But that's so irresponsible. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Actually, I was hoping you could help me with something. We found something out in the jungle. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand, and you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Mm, it's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys! Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. are back how uh <laughs> how's it going lucas really it's great to see you again why are you here just admiring your treasure room jesse listen i'm not gonna beat around the bush here the last time we saw each other with the ocelots and the wither storm and everything I'm not happy about how things went down, and, well, I want to patch things up. I'm tired of us not talking to each other, so I'm sorry. Hey, I'm the one who's sorry. We were stressed back there, and, well, it's not how I wanted things to end. You're a good friend, Jesse. That means a lot. It's, uh, <laughs> feels good to be back. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... 
I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Wow, so that temple we went to, was that built by these old builders? That's my suspicion. But it's what's inside the temple that interests me even more. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse. Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power, possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Wait, like the temple we just got back from? We have to go back there? Yes! Luckily, you already know the way! He does have a point. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Oh, come on, he's super funny and he makes me laugh. I guess... These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> he just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. So, you think it's the right place then? Oh yes, Jesse. Oh yes, I very much do. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. Well, that seems so promising. They hid it away in a place where it would never be. Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. That's a weird-looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. Dude, why are you being such a tool? Your little adventure is over, Jesse. Time to go home. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. We've 
We've got to follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. Yeah, we're going, because I'm going to get that Eversource first. Come on. Uh, that's what I like to hear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, Don't worry, I've got you! Oh, you are surprisingly heavy. I am. Uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much! There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you! Okay, what just happened? How did that portal even work? I suppose much the same way a portal to the nether works, except to an entirely different world. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? I'm starting to think Ivor was right about this being another world. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be. The Eversource. The city and the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please. You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. This island is definitely big enough. Really? Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. Pushing. I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. You're building! I... you... I... I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh... uh you don't know? Y you, you, you... you were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense! That's nuts. Building's pretty important. Everyone should be allowed to do it. I, um... Right? I mean, I'm not crazy, right? Uh... uh this is making me terribly nervous, but uh, first those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry. And he's gone. Ah, <sighs> darn. I wonder if everyone here is that nervous. Wow. Incredible. What's it made of? It's kind of blinding to look at it. It looks like it's all gold and iron blocks. Whoever built this had rare materials to burn. Yes. Clearly the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. I'm starting to think that maybe we should try and keep a low profile while we look for the inn. These people seem pretty suspicious of us. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you!
And where should I put them? Yes, just give them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Uh, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Milo? Yes, yes, that's me. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, don't see many new arrivals here in Sky City. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I'm busy, but I can spare a moment for a friendly stranger. Okay, seriously, guy, what's your deal? I mean, are you on the run? Undercover? Oh, I see. Just because I don't want to speak with you, that means I must have a deal. Maybe I just don't want to speak with you. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Come on, you can trust me. Nothing bad is gonna happen, just help us. Fine, if it will make you leave me alone. That Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Oh, this is not good. What are you... Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene! The builders! Atrocious! Everyone! Everyone! Please! I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to the Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! I'm sorry, I, I'm going with Milo. Me too. Quick, then, follow me! Wait, wait! I'm, I'm coming hey, peacefully! That's them! They're getting away! After them! Jesse, run! Run! I think she's over there! Come on! Just in here, yes. There's nowhere to hide in here. It's a dead end. Before I take you to any further, you must take an oath. I think they went this way. You must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you. What? Do you swear that? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Can we please get on with it? Oh, not quite an oath, but it'll have to do. Philippe? Right this way.
This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. Wow, this is quite the secret hideout, Milo. Very nice. <clears throat> it is not a hideout. It is a build club. You see, one day, a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I put in a petition for a dirt block. And, mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's Dungeons. And I was in there for a very, very long time. Wait, you just dropped some dirt. What was the crime? The crime, Jesse, was the egregious wasting of resources. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas. Milo, our friends are in trouble. We have to help them. Yes, I know. Hey, I... Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please! Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. Guys, don't worry. We're builders just like you. Yeah, Jesse's right. Just chill out. We're the ones that built that bridge into town today. What? Dude! Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. They say them builders, yes. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. Hey, Milo said that you guys were going to help us. And they will, I swear. Just please help me appease them. They're nervous. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from... You're going to be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. build oh, build, thanks. Build, 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 Let's build, see here. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn, I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. What is that thing? Is it... is... is it safe? Fear not, everyone. The golem is under my control and obeys my every whim. I am so sorry we ever doubted you. Your building is truly magnificent. We all bow to you. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. You're sorry. Awesome. Well, if that's taken care of, think you guys could help us get into the palace and save our friends now? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource for my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! I'm overwhelmed at the thought. Yeah, only one problem with that plan. I want the Eversource. 
I have already told you the deal, Jesse. When we find the Eversource, we will see. But for now, this is the only way I will help you. Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the Founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the Founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry, but it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Guys, how high it is doesn't matter. What? You just have to start thinking like real builders and craft a solution. Yeah, like a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Jesse, we will never forget this day. Okay, my friends. This should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Hey, would you keep it down, Milo? We're sneaking in, remember? Sneaking. Right, right, right. My apologies. I'm just so excited. Actually, out in the field, applying ladders to a wall. I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Whoa. Jesse! Jesse! Petra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. So glad you two are okay. What happened to you? We were in the dungeon, but we broke out. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide! We're here to get it first! Fantastic! That is what we are doing as well! Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Why would you assume that? Lucas Ivor, this is Milo. He's the leader of an underground rebellion. Wow. That's pretty cool. A pleasure. Yeah. Hi. Sure. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! Lava and water, placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! That is ingenious! Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I 
think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay, let's do this. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. Here we come. <sighs> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all... Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? <laughs> a sheep? Is... Is that a monster? That's not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. The Founder must have to kill literally thousands of monsters to get the resources to make anything. That doesn't seem very efficient. But she doesn't have any other options. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Source is a chicken? What? Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's the Eversource? So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people! With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Ivor, jeez, Lucas is right. We can't just steal, uh, kidnap... Chicken nap? We can't just chicken nap the Eversource. It's the only way these people survive. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure! Ah! <sighs> I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. Ah! Uh, pain! Oh, she's too fast! Well, hang on a second. Let's talk about this, okay? I'm not sure there's anything to talk about. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe that! Oh, Aiden, will you just shut up already? You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? 
Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Reaper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the foul on you, got me, Lucas? I got your back, Lucas! Stay down, Eat Lucas! This. I don't believe it. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. Well, land is gonna be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's gonna change everything. Yes. It's all just so enormous. Just... just grass everywhere. I can barely process what I'm seeing. What... what do I do now? Once my people see this, I... First things first, we're gonna go back up there and kick Aiden's butt. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. My poor subjects. This is terrible. Of course I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Issa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Hmm, that'll work. What is it? Get ready to build the tallest thing you ever built. What? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. 
grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Okay, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. <gasps> you speak truthfully, my friend? <sighs> well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! You need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Give me a potion of speed. Here! Gotta go fast. Reginald! 
Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! Just hand over the chicken, Aiden. Hand it over before I make you hand it over. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, I am gonna kick your butt. I can't wait to see you try. can lie in it. What? No! You can't just... How dare you! Stop ignoring me! No! 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 Jesse has done 
done nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can go do whatever you want. Uh, uh, I wonder what happened to Aiden. Stop right there. You're not going anywhere, Aiden. I'm done. I'm done. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. <laughs> what goes around comes around, am I right, guys? Attention! Huh? Attention! Hello, hello, everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free. Build whatever we please. Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. <laughs> I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Milo, come on. The Founder's trying to help. It's true. Help herself right back into her own throne, more like. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Guys, Milo is right. You need to take risks. If you don't, you'll just keep doing the same safe things over and over again, and you'll never grow, you'll never live. But what if we die? Okay, I won't lie to you. You could die, but doesn't that make it even more awesome? No, wait, please! It's dangerous. Well, my friend, this is truly the beginning of a new era. Your deeds will be remembered around here for a long, long time to come. Many years from now, we will still reminisce about the great things that Jesse did. You're welcome, Milo. You have taught me to find strength within myself I did not know I had. Well, my friend, it looks like this is where I must bid you farewell. I have a lot of work ahead of me now, and I can't wait to start. Thank you again. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall, too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Now you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the Founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you gonna set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. 
We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend. Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on, let's head home. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ooh, what a huge relief. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Lie stocks, no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.